some outdoors terrain this week. This is a super easy, really fun project. It's easy to get great results with it. Desert rock piles. So let's get to it. So we start out with our one inch thick foam. This is home insulation or extruded polystyrene. Just cut out a few roughly circular shapes, however wide you like. I did about three inches here. And I'm going to want two different thicknesses, so I'll take one of them and slice it in half, like this. Now when you're cutting this one inch foam, it is helpful to have a fresh blade in your crafting knife, fully extended. Take the pieces and chamfer the edges like you see here. Don't push at the material, make sure you draw the knife across the material as you're cutting, otherwise it'll fray. So for the bottom rock, we only chamfer one side, but for all the others stacked on top of it, chamfer both. Then hot glue them all together. I alternated thick and thin every other one. This step is optional. I'll show you the result later on if you don't do it, but the technique is to take some acetone and brush it on. You'll see it immediately start eating away at the foam, and after a few minutes, the chemical reaction is done and dry and hardened. Very nice. I'm gonna do these up as desert rocks, like uh, Sedona, Arizona, or something like that. So a solid base cone of burnt umber. If you have a hard time getting paint into all the porous surface, then uh, load up your brush with water before dipping it in the paint, and then just slather it on and it all sink in nicely. Let that get bone dry, it'll take a while. Then take an orangish brown and give the whole thing a strong overbrushing. It's basically a dry brush, just don't take so much paint off. And don't be shy with it, be aggressive like you see me doing. And then take a lighter, kind of a rich brown, tan color, and dry brush that onto all the surfaces that the sun would normally hit if it were shining overhead. And before we go to the table, I'd like to take a moment to thank all WCV sponsors. This week I draw your attention to Dungeon Cast by Dan Bocchini. Dan's designs are full-on custom resin casts. He's currently focusing on one and a quarter inch grid tiles destined for box sets with playable D&D scenarios in them, basically an evening in a box. So click the link in the description below and check out the Dungeon Cast Facebook page. And here amongst some uh, Desert Mesa terrain are our finished products. So here's one that's uh, I think five stones high and here's one that's seven. Very simple technique. Easy to get a lot of detail with that acetone bath. And here's an example of what it looks like if you don't give it the acetone bath. So this is uh, just smooth. Um, if you hadn't seen the other ones, you would still think this looked pretty good, even though it looks plain by comparison. I am Wylock, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.